beloved, it is no coincidence that you're here watching this reading. The Divine has put this reading in your path for a reason. A reason to make you understand, to give you some important messages that you need to know right now. So we're going to be diving deep into the messages that are here. We're going to be seeing what messages the Divine wants to give to you. And as we're looking at our Oracle cards, I invite you to invite your intuition to be available as I do these readings because your intuition will elaborate on the messages you're receiving so that this becomes more like a powerful personal reading. So the Divine first of all is coming in and giving you a heads up to prepare for a black swan event, for something that just comes out of nowhere. So prepare some food, money, whatever it is that you need to prepare. It is up to you to educate yourself, but the divine is just giving you a heads up that a black swan event is on the cards. Now let's have a look to see what other messages the divine wants you to receive. The divine is saying that for some of you, you are currently in battle. You are currently fighting for something. The divine is asking you to take a moment in time to contemplate, to meditate, to see the truth of the matter. Because the divine is saying that for some of you, you are lost in some type of battle that has been happening, that has been raging for a long time. You don't even know why you're fighting anymore. For some of you, you are tired of this fight that is here, but you keep getting invited to participate in this fight, in this war. So the divine is saying that, listen, sometimes peace is better than being right. Choose your battles wisely. You do not have to reply to every battle, to every war that you're invited to. So whatever it is that is happening, the divine wants you to step into that energy of peace, distancing yourself from drama, distancing from people who keep inviting you to all different types of conflicts. The divine is also wanting you to remember that you can't defeat your demons if you are still enjoying their company. So the question is, secretly, are you enjoying this battle that is here? Secretly, are you desiring to be right? Secretly, are you wanting to have the last word? Because in doing so, this battle will carry on raging for a long, long time when the divine wants you to step into the energy of peace. So the question is, can you make peace within yourself and walk away from battles that can be won and walk away from anything that is there to rob you of your peace. The divine is saying that again, you can defeat your demons if you are still enjoying their company. So this is that moment in time for reflection, for self-reflection, inner deep self-reflection, because the divine is saying that this rage, this battle that has been here, there is no way out. It is going to be fought for a long time. For some of you, this is within your family. For some of you, this is within friendships that you had in the past. For some of you, these are relationships, maybe with the daddy, um, the baby's daddy, the baby's mom, whatever it is. There are just some conflicts, some tit and tat type of energy, and they're all designed to rob you of your peace. So let's have a look to see what our tarot cards have to say. As I get your tarot cards, I always remind you of the services that I offer. I offer cord cutting ceremonies. They are powerful. I offer services that are to do with fertility prayers, banishing bad luck, returning to sender any negative energies. There is a lot that I offer. And everything you're going to need to know is in the description box below. So whatever it is that you're currently experiencing, if you need the cords cut to this toxic type of situation that is here, that is something that I can help with if that is something that you need. We now have our tarot cards and we can certainly see that there has just been something 
that has been going on for quite some time. You have the energies of the Ten of Wands. There's a weight on your shoulder. There is just something that is weighing heavy deep within you. The Divine is asking you to look at this situation and to ask yourself, is it necessary to carry this burden? Is it necessary to carry this curse? Perhaps it is time to put this weight down and to walk away, choosing peace instead of conflict. The Divine is wanting you to understand that for you, you're being asked to start collaborating, to start working with like-minded people who are wanting to build themselves up and equally see you build yourself up. There's a beautiful type of energy that is here where if you choose your team right, you could be making a lot of money, a lot of resources. There's just a beautiful energy that is here that is balanced. And this is what the divine wants you to focus on. You're going and finding your team, your soul tribe. You're going and finding like-minded people and collaborating, putting your resources together, putting your energy together and building something amazing instead of wasting your time, tit and tat, fighting, going back and forwards. Now our last card is asking you to understand that we spoke about a black swan event. So this is a calling again from the divine to start budgeting, to start looking at your money, your health, your resources, and just be in that energy of preparation. However, the divine does not want you to step into the energy of fear. And this is why you are being given this heads up, this warning, so that you can go and prepare, so that when everyone else is panicking, you be good, you will be at peace, because you did the preparations that you needed to do way ahead of time. Again, the emphasis is not on fear, but on seeing what action you can take. You are being encouraged to be proactive because the divine understands that you need the heads up that is here. So again, the divine is wanting you to put anything that is weighing heavily on your shoulder the Divine is wanting you to focus on how you can bring an energy of protection around your resources instead of losing yourself in this battle that is here. The Divine is wanting you to go and collaborate with other people, perhaps putting your resources together, perhaps putting your wisdom together and creating a safety net. I see that for some of you, you could be moving into a new community. You could be moving even countries. There is just something different that is coming in. And this difference is going to be bringing in an energy of peace, an energy of support. So go find your soul tribe. Go find your sisterhood, your brotherhood. Go find the people who you can call upon if things start going pear-shaped. So whatever is happening, the divine is wanting you to understand that whatever happens on the world stage, if you make the preparations that you need to make, the future is still bright. There is nothing to be afraid of. This is why the divine is bringing a protection around your energy and asking you to prepare so that when everyone else is panicking, you are good. And in good, I mean you're preserving your energy. You are not wasting your energy, losing your head like everyone else. So this is the takeaway that the divine wants you to take away from this powerful reading that is here. If you have found value in this reading, let me know in the comment section below. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And remember of the ceremonies, the prayers, the services that I offer, if you're wanting to see what it is that I do, the link to my website is in the description box below where you can go and explore my website and see how we can work together. This is the reading that I have 
Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. It is a goodbye from me.